Hello, and welcome to the Let's Play tutorial for uh, Fate Tectonics. Woo! I am your Fate Tectonics gamer, Rosemary, and I have my lovely assistant here, Adam, with me. And we, <laughs> we are going to play Fate Tectonics. Just a quick little thing about the game. The game is a independently made game by... Why, who made it, Rosemary? The company Golden Gear made it, Adam. Okay, so the game's a, <laughs> a world-building puzzle game. It's going to test your wits. Uh, is it going to test your patience? Yes, it's going to test a lot of things. Remember, there's a test about the testing at the end, so... Anyways, we're going to start now. Here, new game. Oh yes, look at that sexy button pressing. All right, so the game starts off and with a pillar you, of light. With a pillar of light and nothing much else. So we're going to click on the thing that the arrow is pointing on and it gives you an island and we're going to place it just willy nilly. And here we are, here is the game as is right now. So we have these land masses, uh, little terrain chunks and we have a fate that is watching us. Her name is Penelope. Say hello, everybody. Hello, Penelope. <laughs> um, and the point of the game is you are taking these land chunks and you are connecting them to existing land chunks. And it's Carcassonne rules. So it's land to land, water to water, all that good stuff. Look, look at how beautiful that is. And she was happy about was it. She say, loved she it. She seemed pretty pretty hype about what you just did. Yeah, man. So uh, now that I've placed one uh, terrain chunk, you can see down at the bottom here, I can right click to speedily uh, get a new chunk. So like if you right click, you just get another one of the last tile you did? Exactly. Cool. Uh, now the thing is, I don't have, well, I, no, I don't really have any matches here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click again and holy jeez, look at that, it's rotating. So you can place your tiles wherever you want. Isn't that magical? Isn't that wonderful? Aren't you just full of glee and wonder and, and, and spirits and, um, Go, Go on. Uh, I don't know. Keep, yeah, what, what else am I full of? You're full of uh, gas. Usually. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to build up a, 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 a land mass that's large enough to appease her. She's pretty happy right now. She's a, uh, you she know. She seems pretty into whatever it is you're doing. Yeah, you know, she's pretty, she's the first one. So of course, you know, she's, she's easy to please. She's easy to please. So just to show you what happens when you do things that they don't like, yeah, I'm going to purposefully make a mismatch. That's not good. Okay. You saw those uh, little, um, those little uh, red marks. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll do another one so you can see. You see that? You see the yeah. red mark? That's a bad thing. You don't want that. Yeah, but you just got another pillar of light. Though. I did. I unlocked her second power, which is cities. So you'll see uh, as you build out further. The tiles become more degraded. There's more uh, holes in them. Mm -hmm. To fix this problem, you basically use cities. They're kind of like land glue. Um, now I have to go back down and pick up a tile again. So what is that thing with the spinning gear? That thing with the spinning gear. In the middle here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is Penelope's temple. Okay. That's basically her home base. When nothing important is going on, she just sort of likes to hang out here. That's why she's sort of floating around in a circle. This world is really tiny, not a lot is going on, so she's just like, whatever, man. It's all good. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's basically what she's up to. I don't know if you've noticed, but I keep trying to go back to that one tile that I made a mistake on. Mm -hmm. The nice thing about this game is that if you make a mistake, you, we don't eat our mistakes in this household. We, oh, dang it. Um, that looked like it was gonna work. That wasn't gonna work. Oh, the water. Yeah. You see, you gotta watch out for that. Um, so basically, if you make a mistake, it's okay because you can go back later and if you find a better match. You just put your tile over it. You sure can. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is a perfect match for that spot. Yeah. I'm gonna stamp it over. And everything's better now. What were those lightning bolts? The lightning bolts, well, okay. Stamping stamping tiles over other tiles causes temporary damage, mm -hmm. but because it it made the land better overall, it was it was it was fleeting, like love. Yeah. But so hypothetically speaking, if the lands were already kind of damaged and then you added a little extra damage to it, that hypothetically could be enough to break the tile. Yes. Which is again, you gotta be careful. You wanna avoid that as much as possible. <laughs> I give myself five minutes before I totally mess up everything. So now you have another pillar. What's that? I, I unlocked the next fate. So I'm just going to place this tile and watch it fall because I did a bad job. And as you'll see, when tiles fall, all the tiles around them take damage. 
I could see that easily causing like a domino effect. Oh, uh, totally. Okay, so now I'm gonna place the next guy and he's a water guy. So I'm gonna try and place his temple somewhere near water. And as you see, a bunch of tiles sprouted up around his temple and they're all water. And his name is Barnacles and he is a reverse mermaid, sort of. Like a dapper little... Little fish man. Yeah. And uh, so he's got his own set of powers that we can pull from. And the first one is, of course, water, water tiles. And uh, sometimes his tiles will have little bits of land, but generally Just speaking... islands. Yeah. Generally speaking, we're looking at, at uh, more more water. Okay, well here's a question for you. So you've got Penelope kind of floating around and she's pretty hype mm -hmm. about some stuff that's gone on and then you got Barnacles and he seems pretty good. Is there anything that she might want that would piss him off? Uh, yes, actually. I'm trying to unlock her third power right now. Yeah. So, um, you know... These, pe these these fates, they all got their own agendas. They got they got the things that they like and don't like. Mm -hmm. And generally, they don't care what the other fates they like. They got their own agendas. What are they, politicians? One of Penelope's powers is that when uh, there are successful little villages, she's, uh, you know, the civilization fate. And when villages are doing well, like this one right here, look how big it is with all its, like, farms feeding into it. She sends out little villagers to explore. And if they find an area that they think is suitable, they will uh, start colonizing. Put, yeah, they'll start colonizing. They put blah, 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 blah. they will put towns down for you. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, that's always good. So um, they've got their little smiley faces and junk, mm -hmm. and that's how you can tell what the mood is. I assume. What's the red bar? The red bar is their rage meter. So basically, something's making her mad. Yeah, something ticked her off. Most likely a tile that fell. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, they they each have their own uh, likes and dislikes, like I explained before. And the thing is, you want to try and keep them happy because getting them angry results in uh, violence. violence. Horrible, horrible violence. Hey, oh. you got another fake guy. I did. Oh, dang. And I didn't unlock Penelope's third power yet. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm going to place the third guy, and his name, hmm, what's a good spot? He lives in a tree? He lives in a tree. His name is Hogweed, and he is the forest guy. There he is. He has no pants. No pants. He's got a, a, a modesty fig leaf, yeah. and that's really for our sake and not his. So he's got his thing. His thing is forests. Look at it. Oh, oh no. And Penelope's oh, no. oh, getting oh. mad about stuff. Yes. What's, uh, what's making her mad? I think <laughs> I think I'm accidentally knocking tiles off because I'm not paying attention. Oh. Not as much as I should be. Yeah. Um. Whoops. <laughs> so so she's not super stoked about that. She's less hype about what you're doing. Yeah. All right. Here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. So you're almost done filling the screen. Yes. What happens when there's no more black space in the screen for you to fill with tiles? Well, it's very simple. We just hit... Well, the nice thing about this map is, you know, it kind of oh. goes on forever. You can move your map around just by grabbing anywhere in the void and dragging. Okay. But you can also do this. Boop! Look at that! Ooh. Now you've got all this friggin' space to do stuff. How far can you zoom in? Uh, hold on one second and I will show you. The default you start at is at 200% of the original artwork, and I think you can go in one more, yeah, at a 400%. Oh, yeah, I want to see hog Hogweed's leaf. Oh, look at that. Look at that leaf. Look at that. Is... I actually really like Hogweed. <laughs> he's, he's so surly. He's adorable, and there they are all hanging out, and I think you can... Game looks great. Thank you. Game and that's great. that's how far you can go, and I think that is fifty percent of the original artwork. But let's stick let's uh, let's stick at two hundred because that how way big you can, can you make your worlds. Uh, right now the map unofficially goes to three hundred by three hundred tiles. Yeah, which is and this is still an alpha. This is still an alpha. This is still so. far from done. It is very far from done. Um, we're trying our best to get it finished as quickly as possible, but you know we have other responsibilities and well, we also have to and pay. And quality our... takes time. Well, yes. You don't want to rush perfection. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it's not perfect. But I'd like to think that the game's at least fun. I mean, people play it 
at you know, and they're not just like humoring. Well, you were just at PAX. Yeah, we were just at PAX. And like I was saying, you know, people are playing the game and they're not just playing to humor me anymore. So <laughs> They're paying money for it. Yeah, that's always a nice feeling when people are like, hey, you know that thing that you like put your blood, sweat, and tears, but mostly whoops. Oh no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold, 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 hold. Please don't go any deep. Is there a way for you to stop this? Uh You gotta stop this. Okay, it stopped on its own. Oh. I made a mistake. You done goof. I I totally goof. Okay, well here's a question. So you said the little red bars they're like anger meters. Is there yes. a way for you to make it so they have less? Yes, there are ways to make them happy. Um, but we don't really tell you how, so you kind of have to figure it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been playing this game pretty much since we started making it. Uh, 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 ah, dang it! Okay. It's okay! It's okay! They're not all that angry. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that if any damage comes to their temple tile, they get real mad. If any damage happens to their temple tile, you can pretty much assume that you are going to... Eat it? Yeah. <laughs> All of it, like not even a little bit of it, you're gonna eat all. Yeah. Um, so you have more little dudes on the bottom, so there's more than three fates? There are. There's actually ten fates planned for the game. We only have five of them in the game currently. Wow. So, I mean, we're trying our best. <laughs> so it becomes a real delicate balancing act. It's a very delicate balancing act. You're gonna make yourself a giant. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, crud. Sickles. Who's okay. That? That is Pester, and he is basically like the annoying jerk brother of all the fates. I was gonna say he doesn't have any tiles. He does not have any tiles, and that's because nothing makes him happy. Oh, I was gonna say is that so that's not an alpha thing. He's just a jerk. He's just a jerk. Okay. So watch this. He's a he's, fly mummy. Yeah, he's a fly mummy. So his thing is that he he hates anything living. So basically, like, look, I made some life. He's ticked off now. Whoa, he's really mad. Yeah, he gets pretty, pretty mad pretty fast. I mean, there is an end game plan. Really? There is. Because because we have the ten fates that are planned for the game. We um <laughs> we have to have an end game eventually. I mean, you can't just keep going on forever. Well, I mean you can. But the idea is is that the last uh, set of fates are pretty destructive. So the, if you can make a game that survives the last three, as well as keeps your map in in place, you win. That's it. That is how you win. Uh, at least that's how we have it planned. Yeah. All right. Well, here's a question. What happens when you get them super mad? Well, each one of them has a, um, a destructive power that... Uh, wow, he's pissed. He's really ticked off. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, oh shoot. there you go. Okay, so I unlock. Okay, he is really ticked off. It's not gonna take much to to set him off. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna place. I'm gonna do one thing that he hates the most. Well, I'm hold gonna... on. What? Uh, what? What is? What is Penelope's last thing? Penelope's last thing is she places oh. boats. Okay, Pester. Pester just like cursed a city. Oh. So Penelope's not gonna be happy about that. Whoa. And Hogweed's not happy about that because his trees got destroyed. Uh, Penelope's last thing is boats. Boats basically do to water what cities do to land. So it holds stuff, it holds water in place. But oh, fishmen don't like it. No, and Hogweed just collapsed the city and because Whoa. his trees got destroyed, uh, the city held. <laughs> they're, they're all like siblings. Yeah, pretty much. We're, and they know how to push each other's buttons. <laughs> which is what I'm, you're gonna, you're about to do, I assume. Yeah, I'm trying to push, uh, I'm trying to push Barnacles' buttons by placing boats at Earlwar. Um, he's not, he's not too oh. happy. Oh, and now he's gonna belly flop. Cannonball. Sploosh! And he caused, he caused a, a tsunami, which wiped out, like, a bunch of land and cities. And now Hogweed's ticked off, and he's causing an earthquake. Uh, Penelope's pretty ticked off. What's she gonna do? She causes, um, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> she basically causes natural disasters, so she places like oil rigs and and. Uh, oh, she's looking at a scroll. Yeah, she placed a factory, which like kind of makes the land all cruddy. Hogweed's mad. Oh! He's, oh, okay. There's two destructions at once. He like elbow oh, drops. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he elbow drops. <laughs> oh man. Everyone's getting pretty ticked, but things are holding. I think I built my world too well. You know what? I'm just gonna, boom. How about that? You don't like that, do ya? Do ya? Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh! 
Oh no! Oh, oh okay, there, there, there goes my map. <laughs> I didn't even have to try, they did it on their own. <laughs> and... Oh, oh, is some of it gonna hold? Okay, so Penelope's temple disappeared. So now she's gone. And so's Pester. And so's Pester. Because they kind of, they need each other. They're like yin and yang, so... I'm just gonna try and knock out the rest of the world and see what happens. Boom. <laughs> and we've got our, our lovely uh, dubstep remix of the uh, of the theme. And of course, all that's left is hogweed. All that's left is hogweed. And his fig leaves. Yeah. Well, not anymore. <laughs> There it goes. Cool. So thank you very much for um, hanging out with us and watching me play the game. And hopefully you play the game too. Please check out our green light campaign. And also you can check out the game on fatetectonics.com where you can download it currently. It's playable for PC and Mac. Um, and also uh, if you download it now, you get all versions and updates for the game for free. So you essentially get the full game. Yeah, so please, you know, vote for us on Greenlight. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and please support your local indie devs. Cool.